Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. The proliferation of Internet of Things devices and systems is contributing to a greater risk of cyber attacks. Skalk Berger tells us what this means for South Africa. Hi Skalk. Hi Chanel. Cyber attacks are growing increasingly sophisticated. What does this mean for South Africa? South African businesses will be increasingly exposed to international organized crime linked cyber attacks. What this means is the attacks will become more complex, more sophisticated and more difficult to detect. With the cyber criminals often exploiting legitimate processes and access controls to infiltrate organizations and carry out their attacks. Organized cyber criminals are also deploying uh, new and sophisticated techniques like machine learning capabilities. This enables them to write malware uh, that learns the more it interacts with, uh, with the target networks um, and is better able to avoid detection the longer it interacts with these systems. Um, cyber criminals are also using automated malware that brings in uh, large economies of scale to their attacks, um, which means uh, ransomware might be more prolific even than it was last year, uh, even though it was one of the major trends in cybersecurity last year. The main result of these trends is that where systems cannot effectively be hardened to defend against cyber attacks, um, we will have to implement systems that will help to analyze the behavior of transactions and processes to detect whether they constitute a threat or not. Any anomalies detected in network traffic should be inspected to determine whether they constitute a threat, which is the, the rudimentary basis for behavioral analytics. These behavioral anal analytic systems will leverage the data from existing um, cybersecurity systems already in place and will complement um, companies' cybersecurity strategies and, and systems. Effective information sharing can help the cybersecurity industry better defend itself against new threats. Uh, yes, that's correct. Uh, as, uh, by way of example, cyber criminals have established quite significant networks across uh, um, territories uh, uh, across the world. This means that cyber threats, firstly, the, uh, cyber criminals share information globally, and the threats are all also global in nature and origin. Often, cyber criminals will sell information that they have managed to, uh, to exfiltrate from a company to other cyber criminals who then carry out their attack. And they, uh, and they often share information about the structure of businesses and the processes um, where they have information uh, available to them. Conversely, Companies rarely share uh, cyber attack information, especially about breaches in the public domain. This is partly because of reputation um, and partly because there are, uh, are not well developed yet, well developed uh, uh, um, international standards for sharing such information. What the, the lack of sharing means is that cyber criminals will often deploy the same methods and attack the same systems but in other companies and possibly in other countries um, if they have been successful in breaching one company or one type of system. However, there is a significant increase in the volume and details of information uh, uh, that is being shared among the cybersecurity industry between the cybersecurity companies as well as between commercial companies and the broader cybersecurity industry. This enables all these uh, uh, all these uh, these companies and organisations to improve the effectiveness of their defence against cyber attacks. Um, as the cyber attacks are identified, the patterns of attack are identified, um, and ways to counteract them are developed. Also, more machine-to-machine -machine information is being shared, specifically between uh, like secure nodes, uh, firewalls, um, and, uh, and more complex systems, like, for, uh, for example, your deep packet inspection systems. This type of machine information uh, helps to identify uh, the behavior of the anomalies um, in network traffic that hide the attacks. Um, this information also enables the other cybersecurity systems, such as the deep packet inspection systems, the firewalls, and the sandbox systems, to more uh, effectively identify patterns that could uh, that could be hiding um, a, a malware attack. Does the cybersecurity industry have adequate numbers of skilled people to handle the rise in attacks? Uh, that's a cybersecurity skills are scarce the world over. Um, and owing to the scarcity, the costs of the skills are fairly high. Um, uh, additionally, uh, training a highly skilled cybersecurity uh, professional could be risky because they might leave your employment and therefore you would have wasted that investment. 
uh, therefore, m uh, many companies are outsourcing in part or whole um, their cybersecurity functions to what is called security operation centers or SOCs. Um, and these are professional cybersecurity operations. Uh, this service model enables the SOCs to focus on retaining the skilled employ uh, employees um, and providing security, cybersecurity services at scale um, to a broad customer base. Uh, which helps to ensure their own sustainability of their operations. Uh, while SOX and cybersecurity companies provide consulting services to companies uh, um, to help them to improve their cybersecurity strategy, the companies themselves remain responsible, um, including that the policies must be applied to various processes, documents, and data. The, the, even, if they do, even if they do not manage their own cybersecurity, they must still determine the level uh, of, of, of protection for various data uh, and, and processes. Um, similar to other business processes, the cybersecurity strategy must be kept up to date and uh, I believe it should be a permanent fixture of a board agenda. Because cybersecurity is necessary to defend business systems that are critical and increasingly digital, um, cybersecurity should form part, a strategic part of any business plans, um, whatever they be. Thank you. That's the second tech show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.